We wanted to do something different than most cities. Mostly people try to unite repertoire, to unite uh, the style. And uh, if we decided to go for this uh, polystylistic adventure, uh, it's just because, first of all, we feel a huge proximity with each one of the species. We perform them quite a lot. And the second thing is that um, we notice that each one of the species, even though they're hugely different and uh, they're in different contexts, we still find that these three pieces share the common energy. And I think through energy we can manage to express ourselves. Brahms Sonata No. 1 is a real gift. Uh, it's a sonata with a very... Uh, with a th spirit of, of autumn, dark outside, just to use this image. Rain, we are depressed, alone, at home, and you want to express all these feelings through one piece of music. I think that's why this Brahms Sonata, you know, life is uh, full of uh, different uh, energies, different emotions, and um, this is one of the emotions we really want to express, is this sadness, um, this desperate uh, way of expressing yourself, uh, very deep music. I think from, from these three pieces, the Brahms Sonata is the most, is the most uh, deep piece of music in a, in a, in a, in the in the most romantic way of the term because they're of course they're they're of course all different but this Brahms sonata is a synonym of an autumn where you just try to uh, get all these emotions through the music it's a personal reflection it's a sadness but you know that there is hope somewhere and this is what this sonata represents to us it's this uh, light at the end of the tunnel
Martin Sonata shows the influence of the romantic music coming uh, mostly from Dvořák, from this region. And uh, from another side, adding to this very romantic spirit, these very Slavic rhythms and, um, and jazzy influence, which makes it very uh, special, very, very peculiar in this sense and um, makes it so different from Brahms and from, uh, from Schnitke uh, and at the same time gives not the same kind of energy but gives the same strength of energy in a way of um, uh, expression. Schnitzke Sonata is a very, very personal choice. This sonata creates a, a, a huge spectrum of emotions and I think uh, people feel it when you play it. For people, they can really resent the spirit of this whole piece from the first movement until the end. And uh, we had a few experiences with Christia while performing it on stage that people were not breathing in between the movements, which is very rare, you know. Uh, sometimes some noisy public and uh, it's, it's just incredible the way people can um, um, feel this sonata with us even though it's it's not the most uh, maybe convenient piece for somebody who, uh, who who doesn't listen to classical music at all it uh, of course it has some clusters on the piano it has some dissonances uh, it's not the easiest music to listen to but emotionally I find it's beyond boundaries. You don't need uh, to be a classical music listener to understand the emotion. Even though you don't, you don't understand the language of Schnitke, you will understand the emotion that is deeply hidden inside. <laughs> 